Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope you had a good week and I hope that you are <laughs> a lot more prepared than I am for Christmas. I have been running around here like crazy and I'm not kidding you would just, I'm going to bend this thing down just so you can see all the stuff. It's like up to here that I had to show you and I am very unorganized. I just had to wrap some gifts to take to my aunt to give to my cousins real quick and John was here blowing the front porch so it's just been chaotic around here so today's video I'm gonna try to share with you as many things as I got this week as I can now with this new camera and uploading in HD I feel like I can't do those just like super long videos or two-part videos so I'm gonna do as much as I can um, and just show you and I also want to tell you about a few little favorite things today um, so anyway I'm just gonna get started okay one of my of course most favorite we've got fruit flies I don't know if you guys have ever had fruit the fruit fly attack but we did the um, vinegar and dishwashing liquid and we've caught most of them but so if you see something buzz by that's what it is anyway um, I got some Louise Young brushes this week from Louise Young and you guys know they have long been my favorite some of my favorite brushes and she sent me some new ones and this is what I got and I have not this is the liner brush that I've told you guys about before I've bought a couple of them so that I'm always they're real fine so I'm scared they're gonna wear out but the first one hasn't but I've got now I've got two backups and um, it is the LY24 this brush is so nice for when you want a thin thin line and then you can build it up too and for it to be so thin it's still got plenty of um, you know firmness to make a good line and um, then her uh, let's see LY38 LY38 okay this one's LY38B and LY38 these are some of my, I use these brushes every day for crease work. Now today I wanted something very, very light and natural, which I'm going to show you later. Um, so I didn't use these, but this is what I use when I want a, a thinner, dark, or more concentrated line, but I want, still want the edges blended out. Okay, this is like the first brush that I ever got from her was the... Um, Gosh, the big foundation brush that Pixie Woo always used. And this is kind of like a smaller version of that. And it is the LY48. And I am anxious to use this. I did not think about I had these separate. So the only one I've been using is this one. And I'll tell you about it in a minute. But this is something I could have used for my concealer. And I will do that and let you know. But oh my gosh. It doesn't look like it would be a soft brush. It's synthetic, it feels like. And I'm not sure. It feels like a synthetic brush and it's going to be perfect for my concealer and, and under, this one under this eye. is the one I mainly wanted to tell you about this is the one if you didn't get any of them but this one the LY 13 this is the coolest brush and let me see how little it is it's like a little teeny it's like a pencil brush but it's not as stiff as like the 219 and I have been using this for underneath, putting the color underneath my eyes. And it would be beautiful if you wanted to really do some intricate crease work or go in the inner corner. But for me, it has been wonderful for under my eyes because I don't have a good, some people really have a good area under their eyes to put dark shadow and just do all this smoking out and everything. And I don't have as much space right there. And this has been perfect. And it's just a very, very unique brush. And I think... We can find all kinds of uses for it. I just love it. So thank you to Louise Young for sending these to me. No matter what brushes I get, which, whichever ones come and go, these Louise Young brushes never leave my eye basket or my little glass, um, especially the crease brushes. And just to get some wonderful. of this stuff out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and show you some stuff that I picked up, some tops that I got this week. Yesterday, I ran into The Gap and um, just I was doing some Christmas shopping and I, I've seen these in there before and you guys will remember that I've gotten a white one 
And last time I was in there, I knew what it was. I went there yesterday to get Will. I wanted to get him a new jacket. I love for him to wear those little Gap hoodie jackets. And he needed some new pants. So last time I was in there for something else, I saw these and they were marked down to $15. And I even picked up two of them and then I thought, you know, I need to be buying for other people. And I put them down. Well, yesterday I got lucky. I went in there and everything in there, including the sale stuff, was 40% off. So I went ahead and picked these up because they were just $9. And I'm so anxious to show them to you because I think they're great gifts. And I think you would like them, even if you just slept in them. But I love them with jeans and everything. So um, I got the lavender, and it's the t-shirts. Remember, they're kind of like, they're kind of cut like the Alexander Wang muscle tee, where it's, you know, not a full-on tank top, but this, see how it folds under? So it gives you that cool arm. I've got the white one like this. And then it has the, um, it's kind of long, and it has the cool back. So you could tuck them in if you wanted to, or just tuck in the front uh, to wear with boyfriend jeans and um, just, you know, several different ways to wear them. So I got the lavender, which I always like. I got the fuchsia color, and then I got the black, of course. And um, they had a really pretty, like, steel colored gray, like this, lighter than this, but, you know, just that utility type gray. And, <clears throat> excuse me, but I had just gotten this shirt that I'm wearing from, J. Crew, and so I figured I had just gotten this. I would just get these three, and then um, also this week I ordered two of the Big O key rings, like I use all the time, and I got those from Ashley. <clears throat> Actually, she sent me mine first, and it's the big red one. I have used it nonstop, and her website. I put everybody's website down below, but it's Four Seasons Five Things. And so I contacted her about getting one for my sister-in-law and my mom because I think they would just love them. And that's something that not everybody would get themselves. So I got those, and then she was telling me about these T-shirts. And so I got one in white because I've gotten so much black stuff lately, and a good white T-shirt is always so good. But it is the Wilt brand, made in USA, and it's just a good, basic, kind of slubbed, short sleeve t-shirt and I love the neckline because it's not crew neck and it's not necessarily a deep v-neck it's just a good all around good t-shirt and I love the um, I hope that you can see like the texturing of it this is one of those t-shirts that you throw on with a pair of boyfriend jeans throw a leather jacket or a blazer over it and some heels and you're good to go and any necklace so um she is selling these, so I will link her thing below. I can't remember, I can't remember how much it was um, because I ordered them all together, and that was earlier in the week. And I feel like um, I feel like it's been just two or three weeks worth of time since last Friday. So I'm going to go. Okay, speaking like of J. Crew, I saw this T-shirt and a, the girl wearing a pair of the toothpick jeans in the Christmas catalog from J. Crew. And I knew I wanted that look. Well, my J. Crew has a very limited amount of denim. And they didn't have um, the, let's see, the toothpick jeans either in my size or my length or something. And I tried to wear the matchstick. Is it toothpick? Yeah, the matchstick, which is a little bit bigger. And it wasn't the look that I wanted. It was just too... It wasn't the same, so I just wore a pair of jeans that I have. But So I bought this t-shirt, which says, um, thank you, in all the different languages. And they had some really cute um, graphic tees. Like, one of them says, blah, 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 blah. One of them said, nobody's perfect. Um, just a bunch of different, really cute ones. And they're regularly $45, and they were on sale for 30% off. So I think I got it for right around 30-something. And at the counter, they had some jewelry on sale, and then it was an additional 30% off. So I grabbed a few things, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these or if I'll use it for a gift. It's kind of just one of those things. But I wanted to show them to you because I want you to be able to go, and I wanted to give you some gift ideas in this video, too. But here is the first necklace, and isn't that so pretty? J. Crew, hands down, has the prettiest jewelry when it comes to stuff like this, and the best quality. So I got that, and see, that will look good with anything. I mean, I could have worn it today. I just wasn't in the, you'll see I have light jewelry on today. I wasn't in the mood. 
But this was on sale for $24. It was $49.50 originally, on sale for $24, and then I got it 30% off of that. And the next one is breathtaking. I don't know what I'm going to wear it with. I, I envision it with a blazer and something else, but it is a beautiful, heavy, I love this part. It reminds me of like some of my Jenny Bird necklace. And yesterday I posted a picture of my Jenny Bird bracelet with a rhinestone bracelet that I had gotten on sale at J. Crew. And I just love that mix of the heavy and then the blingy. And that's what this is. And I just love it. So I grabbed that and it was on sale for $69 and then 30% off of that. And I think it had been over 100 originally. So, J. Crew would definitely, Gap and J. Crew would definitely be good places for you to go if you have nieces, daughters, you know, teacher gifts, anything. Okay, get some before good deals. I get into, I got several gifts and Christmas cards. Thank you guys so much for thinking of me. I just, it really is wonderful and it just, I really do appreciate it. And then I got um, a couple other things that I'm just going to kind of go through here and show you as I get them. I was asking Holly, Holly Makes Up on Instagram, and I will put her link down below. But I told you I always ask her about eyeshadows and stuff, and she is really good about MAC shadows. And I asked her what her favorite purple was, and she said Indian ink. Well, when I went to the MAC counter, they said it had been discontinued when actually I think it's just a pro product now. So she bought it and sent it to me. And here it is, and it only comes like in the palette form, but I, that's fine, I'll just slip it right in my palette. And I have not used it yet because this week I have been into, you know how I am, how I'll go through a smoky eye phase, then I'll go through natural. It's just, I've been on my more natural eye kick. But um, I'm gonna use this soon. I just, I tell you, I've been doing just fast makeup this week. So, thank you, Holly, for that. That was so sweet. She's very thoughtful. And um, speaking of Holly, you know, she sent me the samples of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. And I did go and purchase this. It was, I believe this bottle was, which it's not very big. It's um, four ounces. I believe it was 20 or 25. And I love this stuff. My only issue with it is the packets, I used the whole packets and they were the perfect amount. Well, now I'm having trouble finding the perfect amount when I squeeze it out. And last night I did my hair and I think I used a little too much. Um, but this is the kind of stuff, it's wonderful because your hair just seems to get better and better. It doesn't get frizzy or dirty. It's like I can go, I usually go about three days. I wash my hair on the third night and um, I've been on the second or third day even taking these little bang pieces and putting them back. And it just, it says it, let's see, smooths, volumizes, conditions, strengthens, and polishes. And I agree on all of those, especially the volumizing. It really gives my hair volume. Now, I do have my extensions in, and that really, really helps. So I don't want you to think you know, that's, this is all compared to when I didn't have them in, but even with the extensions, it, um, cause you know, a, most of this or a lot of this is extensions. Um, cause my hair is, most of it is the same length as my extensions. I just like them for the thickness and the fullness and it just is wonderful. So I got that this week and then I wanted to, like I said, I was going to tell you about a few favorites and this that I showed you last week has been one of my favorite things. And Holly sent it to me. It's the La Bella Shine and Repair Argan Oil Styling Treatment, all day moisture, and to penetrates to renew, soften, and shine hair. This is, I was watching Sani on YouTube this morning. She was doing her Sani Awards, and she was showing the, I believe it's, it was the Shu Yumira absolute cream and she was saying how much she liked it in the cream form that is how i feel about this there's something about being able to use the argan oil in the cream form that makes it so much easier doesn't weigh down my hair and i can use it over and over again like after i get through drying my hair with the living proof in it i take some of this and i you know rub it in my hands and then i run it through all of my more fragile pieces of hair before i 
you know, curl and iron or flat iron it. The only thing I've been doing lately is I've been taking my big two inch curl and iron and then just barely curling these front pieces just so they will flip back and not do like this, like shimp. <laughs> Because that's what they nor they want to go like this and so I have to curl them just a little bit up to get them to go back And then I usually curl a few of these pieces Which are kind of fragile and so I use this for that and then like this morning I brushed all of my hair out with my tangle teaser and it gets kind of frizzy and You know just doesn't look good on the ends And so I put just like a dime size amount of this in my hands rub it together and then run it through my hair and it just Calms it down, moisturizes it, but doesn't make it greasy. So really love that. One of my favorite. favorite and like products. I said, I got several beautiful cards this week. This one, oh, look at that. Emily sent that to me, and she said that she saw it and thought of me. And look at the little Bridgie down here. So I love so I got that. A sweet card from Glammy T, her family, and then one from Kirsten. Blotto. And so thank you guys so much. I'm not going to show yours because your family's in it and I don't know if you want your photos shown to everyone. So thank you so much for everyone and all your Merry Christmas wishes. And then yesterday I got a package from Tara Lynn and she has a YouTube channel and I will put her link down below. And she always gets me the neatest stuff. Very practical like the hanging organizer and then she gets all kinds of good stuff so she sent me a really neat box and it had this huge bioderma in it which is thrilling and it has that neat top that you can press to get the product out you don't have to pick it up which is awesome because I have so much stuff on top of my clear cube I always have to get it and it's kind of awkward so this will really be neat matter of fact I'll probably save this and just fill it up so she sent me that and then some really neat neat stuff and practical stuff too this I was so excited to see shadow shields I've never used these but I need to there's nothing worse than doing your makeup doing your smoky eye and fallout getting everywhere and I am not someone who can do my eyes first I know I should but I can't and um, so that's awesome then she sent me um, the blinged out hand sanitizer <laughs> and then one of these um, scent portable clip and go fragrance unit I'll probably I don't know where I'll put that this is the spiced apple I might put that in the car but Rudolph which I don't know I don't know if she remembers this or if it was just luck but Rudolph is kind of special to me because that is one of my family names and it was my granddaddy's my daddy's my brothers and so we've always had a bunch of Rudolphs you know at Christmas around the house so I love that let's see this nice pretty little carrier and it's from Quo makeup case sorry I'm, I'm just so rattled and then I'll show you something really cool these Basha the oh these are pink Pink peppermint blotting linens. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they were pink peppermint. That is neat. I just got this yesterday, so. Oh, these are so pretty. I love the blotting papers. This, I love this, and I needed one of these. This is how I, <laughs> if I had to tell you how I do my nails, I do them with this. I usually just clip them with one of these big clippers and that gives me the general shape of my fingernails and then I just go with the file and soften the edges and I love that it's kind of got the gray or the black um, it's kind of got like the Valentino little diamond pieces and then this um, this I was like oh, when I opened it it is the Quo Deluxe Bronzer and all of you that can get Quo need to find this and I didn't use it today, I should have, but I didn't think about it, um, to see if it's just like it. But look how much this looks like. It's the same colors as like the Laura Mercier Ritual with the browns, tans, rose, and like the deeper, I hope it's coming off right, the deeper browns, and it's just beautiful. Or like the blonde MSF or something like that. Oh, that's gorgeous. I can't wait to try that. And then she sent me this lint roller, which I needed. And I use a lint roller every day. I've got one in my room and in my car because we have cat hair. 
everywhere and my hair gets all over everything and she said that she just thought that was cute and it is and then this is beautiful it's a color boost um, from Quo 10 hours of comfort and hydration I know it's from um, Bourgeois I miss having that at um, Peach on the Beach oh, I love that name but it's a beautiful peachy color <laughs> And um, by De Be Delectable Ultra Nourishing Hand Cream blended with shea butter and coconut oil and aloe vera. Wow, that sounds like a good one. I use, I go through hand cream because I, um, I couldn't, must not be, no, it wasn't open. I knew I couldn't smell it. I expected to smell that shea butter and coconut. Oh, God, it smells good. It smells it's lemony. Yeah, lemon and cream. Oh, I love that. I'm going to have to put this one in the kitchen. I usually have them everywhere because I, after I wash my hands, sometimes I have to put lotion on. Then she sent me the True Blue Spa Sugar 60 Second Manicure Hand Scrub. And then this. I was so excited to get this because Tara Lynn, I did not have any lip scrub. And she sent me the Bubblegum Lip Scrub from Lush. And I've had this before and loved it. And I'm going to take your advice and not... I did the wrong thing and would reach in there, I guess, with in the shower with my finger wet, and it would make it, um, you know, it made it hard and where I couldn't use it, so this time I'm going to follow the rules and not do that. So I'm anxious to use that. And then this little bath, one of those, like, towel wraps, which I love these. These are perfect when you are doing self-tanning because it's, you know, something minimal to put on so you feel like you won't get it on anything, and I don't know if you're like me, but it's impossible for me to stay undressed for too long because I usually need to do something. So thank you so much, Tara Lynn. That was so sweet, and everything was so thoughtful. And, and then I got uh, another, a couple of other packages, and I, I, I just want to show you most of what they sent me. Um, this one is from Teresa, and she sent me, oh, I love this, a little kitty cat ring holder to put on my dresser. A sparkly nail polish. This is so pretty too. It's the Sally Hansen. What's the name of this one? Is Mermaid's Tail. I didn't even get that. How pretty is that? And then a real pretty little um, notepad, which I can always use with a fancy pen and then the leopard on the side. So thank you so much, Teresa. And thank you too for the sweet card and encouragement. And then Amy. And Amy, I had been thinking about you the other day. She has sent me some good things in the past, and she always sends me good skincare, philosophy skincare. And she sent something for John this time. She sent some extra comfort shaving cream, which he will love that. He has a goatee, so he has to shave, you know, around his goatee and um, trim it up good. So he'll love that. And then she sent me. Um, let's see, the Oxygen Peel from Philosophy. This, oh, I love this. It said, she said, that's a lot of money to spend on a purse, and I knew we couldn't be friends. <laughs> I've seen that before. I think I might even have that on my Pinterest or something, but I love this ornament. That's one thing. I think next year, I don't know if I'm going to get a real Christmas tree. I don't know if you guys can see mine over there, but it is so droopy. And I have just watered it and watered it, and it sucks up the water, but it is, it's is—it's hard for it to hold my good ornaments. And um, with the, you know, artificial trees, you can put your he more heavy ornaments and stuff on there. So I do like the spot it's in, and I like the size, but I think I prefer the artificial tree and just get a Christmas tree candle. And then she sent me, I could not believe this, she sent me, a Diane von Furstenberg. Um, this isn't that neat. At first, I thought she wrote that, but it's on this. It says, uh, "Communicate style, Diane." Hands of Hope. Um, a wine stopper. This one says, "I am thankful for many things, but mostly for good wine and my exquisite taste in friends." And then Dean Davidson cuffs. I cannot believe she did this. Two beautiful cuffs. Should have worn those today. Oh, I love them, and I love them together. The silver and the gold. Amy, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, 
And then this I thought was so pretty. Let me see if that has a name on it because this would be such a good gift. The name brand on it is Rachel. But look, it's an L. And it's one of those initial. But what I love about it is look how long it is. It's just awesome. This would look so good with like just an open shirt or even a t-shirt or layered up. It's just beautiful. So thank you so much, Amy. That was now that really I sweet. Space and here, I just realized I forgot to show you one of my very favorite things that Tara Lynn sent me. Probably one of the prettiest blushes I have ever seen, and it's Lee Swache, and it's Rose Eclat, which I don't know what the translation, let's see if it says anything else. No, Rose Eclat. And I wore this, I am wearing this today on the, as soon as I saw it, I thought, mm, I need my MAC 116. So I went and got it out of my, I have brushes that I use every day and then I have another set and I went and got it out and I used it on just the apples of my cheeks. And I hope you can see it, but it is the most beautiful pinky, light pink blush, kind of like Dolly Mix, but more pigmented. And when I look in the viewfinder, it looks like a purpley pink, but it's not. It's true powdery baby pink. It's just gorgeous. I love that. Love it. And I paired it with, uh, I watched Samantha Shoreman. I think it was on her favorites. And then it was on Sunday Sizzles and Fizzles, maybe. But she was talking about this blush. And I just happened to see it when I was in Ulta. So I picked it up because I think it was like $2.99 or something. But it was the Essence Beauty Beats Blush in Groupie at Heart. And it's what I have on today. And it is a beautiful blush. It's one of the bright ones like I like. And so what I did is I put this further back on my cheeks and then put the lighter one, the rose one, you know, just up here. So it was, you know, not as bright right there. And um, that way you still have the pop of color on your cheeks and it still makes your cheekbones pop. But um, I think it's a Justin Bieber because it says boyfriend all over it. And um, so pick this up if you're out because it is so worth it. It's very pigmented and beautiful. And those two together are gorgeous. Okay, now, Yesterday, I did some shopping at MAC, and one of my favorite girls, Danielle, was there. She's the one that helped me last year do that smoky look with smut when I had the hat on, and I was trying to recreate that look I saw on Pinterest, and I have not seen her. She's freelance, and I had not seen her all year, so I was so glad to see her, and I told her, I said, oh, if I'd have known you were here, I would have brought some pictures <laughs> and had her do my makeup, but she helped me pick out... I got MAC lip glosses and lipsticks for all my cousins and nieces and my aunts. And so we picked all those out and then I got a few things too. And the first thing I got is the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Cream Lipstick. She had this on with um, Subculture and this lipstick. It was just a beautiful, you know, just baby doll pink. And um, I will put the name of the cream sheen she had on over it right here because I've got it, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, but I tried on the combo last night and it was gorgeous. But today, I think most of the time for filming and stuff, I think it's better if I wear just a, a little bit more color, but I'll wear this soon. And um, what else? Where's that other? I know I got something else. Um... I don't know where it is right now, but I know I got the Flare for Finery Gloss, too. I asked them if they had the lipstick, and they didn't, but they had the cream sheen. So I got that, and then I cannot believe I don't have that out here because I remember pulling it out to show you guys. Um, and then I, yesterday, when I was... Right after I got that, I was in the car spinning through my Instagram, and I saw Colorado Jennifer. She has the best lip combinations, and I love her kitty cat, and I just love her pictures. And she did a lip combo with the Flare for Finery lipstick and then a gloss on top. And I ordered the gloss immediately. I cannot remember what the name of it is. And then I couldn't find the Flare for Finery, but Ariane told me this morning that they had it at Macy's. So I ordered one for Gina and I, because we were looking for them, uh, for Macy's today. So I'll do that combo soon. And um, when I was at the MAC counter, I saw this. I have not picked up any of this. I haven't picked up any 
anything from MAC, their collections at all lately. But they had this left from the Riri collection, and I immediately was drawn to this color. And so I asked her, I said, what color do you think that is? I was trying to figure out if I, if I already had it. I said, is it Omega? And she said, no. She said, I think it's Copper Plate. So we swatched Copper Plate and this, and this had more of a, almost like a plummy undertone. So I grabbed this one, and today this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the this color all over the lid, and then this color just lightly in the crease. I wanted it to be more like, you know, a shadow, more than just an eyeshadow look. And I think that's the difference you get when you use more of a brown, warm brown in the crease. Even though it still looks natural, you still have a crease color. Whereas I think if you use one of these that are more of a gray, taupey color, you get more of that true shadow look. And um, like a con true contour shadow. And so I was just very impressed this morning with this. It was very easy, and I love those two bottom colors too. So I'll use those when I feel like doing more of a dark look. And this one is called the Smoked Cocoa. And I'm just, I'm really happy with that. Normally when I get these, I'm kind of like, eh, you know, why did I get this? But I really like that. And I think the shadows turned out well. Then I went to Dior yesterday shopping, and I ended up getting... Everywhere I went, I ended up getting my mom something and my sister-in-law something. And I grabbed this for me. I have really, really enjoyed using all of the Hyaluronic Acid products. The face creams and the lip plumpers. And I totally think that they help and work. And so I have never gotten this before. I got the Dior Addict Collagen High Volume Lip Plumper. And it's just their... You guys have seen it before. I've got the balm that a lot of people wear under it. And um, so I got this and I put it on last night. Loved it. And I put it on this morning before I did my makeup or right after I washed my face. And um, I think it helps. And I like okay, it. Anyway. I'm just like running out of breath. But I'll be, let me put my shoes on. I'll be right so back. So I told you guys outfit. about this t shirt that I got. And I really like the J. Crew t-shirts i get a medium i've tried the large and it was too big like right through here but the medium fits well and i'm just gonna have to make sure i don't dry it they are just really soft and i love the colors and stuff and then the jeans i have on today are my hudson i believe they're called the krista um super skinny that i got last year for and shoes um, today i have on my oh goodness these are the kate spade licorice just the black suede pumps for accessories and, um, so as you can tell i was in a hurry this morning and i'm going pretty casual today i just didn't feel like putting on some days i feel like just loading it up with jewelry and then some days i don't hardly feel like wearing anything so i put on my real light little eternity hoop sheila fajal earrings and i believe i have some of these on my website still and they're a good price they're a good gift price and i put on my little rings this is a butterfly ring that john got me and then this is a ring i think i got for mother's day one year that's got the aquamarine and the sapphire which is mine and brooks birthstone and the fragrance i have on is the tom ford tobacco vanilla and i just spray it and then kind of walk into it one spray is good and no necklace we'll probably see that before it. christmas so i'll see you soon i've got a review to do on a product that I've been loving and some different things. So have a good weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.